channel. This is Amore Tasia. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated favorite drugstore foundations and concealers for women of color. And what I mean by women of color, I don't mean just, you know, African Americans. I also mean like those with olive skin tones, you know, they're more fair, but not like absolutely white, like pale, you know what I'm saying? So from olive to dark skin tones, these are the best most affordable drugstore foundations, period. And this is actually the best, in my opinion. But, you know, everyone is different. Their skin tones are different, undertones, and so on and so on. But these are my favorite based on what I have experienced and what I've been seeing a lot of other people saying as well. So, let's start with my ultimate favorite. Now, in my last video that is, like, super successful, I'm still getting comments and stuff daily and I'm like y'all this video was like three two year two or three years old but my favorite for high end I would still say the MAC Studio Fix Fluid that's just what I would, would pick you know if you have to do like high end but this is like affordable we're talking about affordable okay so my first and foremost my favorite ultimate of all times Revlon Color Stay Revlon Color Stay Yes, 24 hours, like seriously, 24 hours. This stuff is really durable. And on top of that, they have, since I reviewed the other, um, my other video, they now have pumps. And a lot of you were commenting, telling me that, you know, I could just buy pumps from like Amazon, but that's too much, girl. So these come with pumps. They, this foundation is perfect for me. And I said that it's the best out of the drugstore slash more affordable ones because not only does it last for 24 hours, but they come in so many different shades for women of color. And on top of that, not just shades, but we're talking about undertones. And we're talking about combination to oily or dry skin. This is not just a foundation that's for just dry skin girls. And this is not a foundation that's for oily girls. This is for all of us, okay? So, you know, when I say undertones, it's not like classified by like True Match, for instance, they have cool, warm, and neutral tones. They don't have that, but all of the darker colors are not just, you know, red and, you know, with pink undertones. Some of them have more, some of them are yellow-based, some of them are red-based, but you can mix and match to get your perfect shade. My perfect shade is Cappuccino mixed with Caramel. Now, I, I haven't tried, they have like new shades too. They have Almond and they have another color. I didn't experiment because I'm the type of girl, once I find my fix, I stick with it, you know? So I'm gonna try to do some more experimenting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is ultimately my favorite. It does last 24 hours and it feels so fresh on your face. It's really light and it's the same amount, one fluid ounce and it has SPF as well. And what I like about this, even for combination to oily skin, it dries, it dries matte, but it's not like super, super dry, like you can't move your face. It feels like skin. It almost has like a velvet matte finish, but it's, you know, it's definitely, it dries, definitely it is. So it doesn't dry you out though. So if you do have dry skin, it still wouldn't mess you up. But like I said, they do have a dry skin formula as well. Um, I don't see where they say like what it's supposed to do, but girl, it does what it do, okay? My second to best favorite, y'all know what I'm about to say. I really don't even kick it with Maybelline like that, you know what I'm saying? But I love the Maybelline Fit Me Bad Formulas. I absolutely love it. Like, this gets me excited because I'm so happy that they made a specific matte makeup, like, formula. This is the best because the first Fit Me sucked. This is, like, the best. This is from normal to oily. And they do have the dewy and smooth for the girls who are dry faced. Hey, they got some for you too, girl. But I'm like I said, I'm combination both. So I could probably get away with both. But I'm 355 coconut in the Fit Me Matte Pore List. And it says that it mattifies and refines your pores. It matches your natural tone. It has a seamless finish. That it does. It does what it says it's going to do, honestly. It dries matte and it still feels like skin. It does. It feels so natural and it looks natural. This is super light. Like it's even lighter than the 
colors stay. It really is light. But, and they do have new tones out too. I'm going to try the Spicy Almond or something like that. I want to try that one because for some reason, you do have to keep in mind that with different seasons, like summer and winter especially, your skin tone changes. It darkens and it lightens. And it might be slight. It might be dry. I doubt if it's really drastic, but you know, it just depends on your line of work also because my dad used to be like my color when he was like 30 and he's like 60 and he's been working for the U.S. Steel for like 20, almost 30 years and he's like super dark. Like he's super dark. There's nothing wrong with it, but I mean, chemicals and being around super heat, like, like over 100 degrees, that's, that's just too much. That's too much. That's not good for your skin. So, you know, like I said, it just depends on your line of work. But I mean, if you're out there slaving like that, girl, I don't think you'll be needing makeup. So, <laughs> anywho, um, this is just the best. I think this is still my shade. But some of them do have, like, orange under orangey you know kind of sort of but that's better than being super red so you just have to play with them i'm not sure of the other um colors whether they're you know orange or neutral or cool tone because they really don't have a classification for that either unfortunately and they don't have a pump but this is still a great great foundation i'm serious like if you look at most of the beauty gurus the big gurus on here when they do their drugstore foundation routines most of them use the uh, matte and poreless or the fit me maybelline fit me whatever whether it's doing smooth or maybelline fit me not poreless i like i this is this is number three this is the new it's not really new but you know it's one of the newest the l'oreal infallible 24 hour pro matte now, I will tell you, this does last 24 hours, but honestly, it does feel kind of dry on my skin. It says a finished semi-matte. No, it's like super matte. But don't let them lie to you, girl. This is like super dry. It's dry. I'm going to tell you that now. And it's so dry to the point where, unlike the other two that I just talked about, you can't be you can't be trying to be cute, you know, sitting up on your phone. Hey, baby, what you doing? Oh, girl, for real. Okay, uh -huh. and and then trying to get your face together. No, these mugs will this will dry right on that patch that you left it. Trying to be cute, so you need to just go ahead and get that done. That's what I kind of don't like about this. But unlike the other two, they're able to move. Like I can like go away and still do something and then come back and finish my makeup and it's still uniform. With this one, you have to quickly move. Like, you can't take any breaks. You have to put this product on where you want it to be because it will, like, dry and it's gonna be ugly. So, um, I actually had to stop filming because my battery was, well, my car was full, so I had to empty it. But um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but I'm the color, um, I'm in between Coco and Soft Sable. Now what I hate about this foundation is that the color choices suck. There are only like two of them or three for darker tones and that sucks. And they're orangey or red so that really sucks. But this is a great foundation for full coverage and if you want it to last. And to get it to you know avoid like all of that um any transfer you can use an urban decay i heard that's the best the fix spray that actually makes it less transferable so that may work for you but this is still a great one of my favorites honestly especially for pictures like if i'm doing photography or something like that then it doesn't matter you know if, if my makeup's not coming right as a tutorial but as long as the final finish is beautiful then that's what matters as far as this goes so this is definitely one of the faves and also for you girls that have, this is the Pro Matte, so that means for those who have oily skin. For those of you who are opposite, you have um, dry skin, they do have a new version. It's called the Pro Glow. I'm not sure, I did not review that one because I don't need any glow and all that stuff because I'm already combination oily skin. And if you do have to have something that's like not matte, if you have dry skin, you can always use a um, dewy setting spray like how I just 
I use the NYX. Next, I have the Milani Perfect Conceal. This is the it's Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And that's what it does. It literally is a concealer. It really is. It's a concealer foundation. It is lightweight. I will see that. But the choice, this is Milani, which is catered to women of color. But I still feel like they could have done better with more choices as far as yellow base and then some that are red. The colors that I am mixed together is chestnut and golden toffee, but I'm more so chestnut. And chestnut has a yellow base, but this one, the golden toffee, has more of like almost a red undertone. Or it's kind of reddish, so I, ugh, I hate it. But, you know, it's gorgeous for pictures, though. And it does transfer more than all of these. I hate that. But on the other hand, you can use a fixed spray by, I guess, Urban Decay or find a good fixed spray that keeps your foundation in set, like not just set, but you know, keeps it from transferring. If you can deal with that, then this is awesome. This is definitely a full coverage foundation. It says that it's medium to full coverage, lightweight, and it's long wear. It, as far as long wear, I'll give it about half, about half of a day, maybe half, maybe. If you're oily, less than that. I'm just being honest, but this is still one of my favorites because it conceals. And you can always stretch your foundation if you have a setting spray or a fixed spray or a fixed spray, not a setting spray, a fixed spray to make it last longer. And you can always touch it up. Now, if you're the type that you work in places where, you know, you don't get breaks, then, you know, with like, I mean, like over 12 or 13 hours and that sucks, you know. So, yeah. And I'm not sure if Ulta carries Milani. So, yeah, you guys are stuck with the drugstore for Milani. These are the best two for if you don't wear, if you don't want to do like concealer and foundation, you just use this. I mean, it covers all kind of scars. It covers your past, girl. You can start fresh. I'm just kidding. But it does cover your like acne scars, birthmarks, everything. So this one is last because I have to give this one a side eye that it even made this list. But I will say this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. The best part about this foundation is that it does come with a dropper. I did, I meant to say that I reviewed that, the previous one I just talked about that, um, Milani, I reviewed that. So that's on the, that's on the foundation review list as well. So check that out, my full review and demo. And I, I, re I just reviewed this one as well. So check that out. But this is the dropper that it comes with and this is perfect for controlling how much you use in a day now here's the thing this is already half one fluid ounce this is like less than half 0.43 fluid ounces where the normal the norm is one so you already have less product and this product is like 13 to 14 dollars you can get it a little cheaper at ulta if you use the coupon three dollars and fifteen cents three dollars and fifty cents off or you can use like whatever they have like 20 percent or whatever but here's the thing like you know if it does if you don't use a lot of product and if you have like almost perfect skin and you just want some foundation on and you don't have any like scars or whatever then you can use this foundation for just like one or two drops it says that one drop is supposed to be light coverage and up to four for full coverage if you're just like me and you have hyperpigmentation and a few scars then you're going to need at least about eight of them like at least about six drops seriously for full coverage six to eight drops even more so you know that's the downside but I downside I love the fact that this is my perfect shade and this is the color mocha now the fact of the matter that I hate is that these do not come in really like darker tones in the stores you have to order online and that sucks I feel like if you're going to make a foundation line, you need to put all of the colors out. That's just so stupid to me. It just really is. Like, NYX really dropped the ball with that. This was the darkest color, and this is mocha. And you can look at me and tell that I'm not even the darkest on the spectrum. So, there's plenty more girls that need their, their I was going to say their shade, their shade in the stores. I was about to say shown, tone, and put it together, girl. But anyway... So, yes, this is still a good product, though. I will say that for those of you who just want something minimal 
and you just can get away with it then yeah this will last you as well because you're only using one or two drops of it and it's consistent the drops so you know now as far as lasting i'll say about 10 hours 10 12 hours check out my review for the full demo but this is definitely one of my favorites this is the least favorite out of all of these well actually the fact that it doesn't transfer as much kind of bumps it up more than the uh the two that do transfer but yeah this is a good foundation definitely for the affordable and that wraps up this video um uh, I want I am gonna keep trying new foundations I did try the LA girl the new LA girl pro coverage foundation so check that out and you'll see why that did not make this list um I'm going to do a review on the foundation light center that LA girl did come out with these are the ones I'm talking about. This is the lightener and it does work. And I'm going to do a separate video on how that works. Um, also, I want you guys to comment below with any suggestions that you have for anything to make these foundations even better. Or, you know, comment below your favorite foundations and what works for you. Or, you know, what tones or undertones work or whatever. Also, like any fix sprays or, you know, just some hacks that we can use to spruce these foundations up. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you check out my videos. Make sure you subscribe and set your notifications to on because some of you guys have been unsubscribed from my channel. I don't know if that was a glitch or not, but yeah, they need to fix that. Also, check out my hair company. This is my Peruvian straight. This is actually a lace closure unit. And my hair company is having a 20% off spring break sale off of all wigs and hair. And my hair is top quality. And on top of that, I don't have any complaints. Check my hashtags on social media. So, and it's affordable. Even my bundle deals are on sale. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.